It's been a long time since I came around It's been a long time but I'm back in town And this time I'm not leaving without you Actually, it hasn't been that long. No, it hasn't. No, it hasn't. <laughs> uh, that was just the first song that came into my head. Hi, everyone. I'm Agent Elrond. And I'm Rafi McMuttonchopper. And we're on the base for Chapter 18. It is Chapter 18, isn't yes. it? We're moving right along. Um, we just finished the huge Chapter 17, and look what we have here. Here. Ike. 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 He's feeling good. Uh, let's see. We also have Boyd Boy. and uh, Jill and Kirin and their promotions make me a talk kind of Italian <laughs> and Oscar. Him too. Uh, we're going to be working on getting Nephany and I think Brom is very close. Yes, he is. Anyway, you're getting the idea. We're getting very close to all our units actually promoting. Just about the same time, except for our healers. Healers lagging behind. Sigh. Oh well. We've got... I think the first thing I want to do is we'll be working with BXP for a little bit to kind of, you know, even out the levels, but I'm not going to show that because it's boring. What I do want to show... <laughs> now that Ike is promoted, we are going to give him some skills. And, uh... There's two ways you can kind of go with Ike, because Ike is a very pivotal character and you your strategy really hinges on him being able to kick ass. And there's there's two ways you can go for with, with Ike. And uh, you can do the Wrath Resolve combo, which works really well in this game. And Mage Knight 404 recommends it, and after seeing what his Ike did with Wrath and Resolve, I kind of agree. But the the traditional way to go is give him an occult scroll, and uh, this is not a bad way to go. So we're gonna give him Aether. Pretty much when it activates, it's like activating soul and moon. A activating, it's like activating adept soul and moon all at the same time. <laughs> yeah, basically. So the 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 uh, yeah. Well, let's give that to him. Yes. Yep. That is an occult scroll, well spent. We could also give him miracle. But, um, nah, the Aether's the really important one. My, my opinion is if you're relying on the miracle skill, um, that's not your, that's not the only problem. You're, you're kind of playing it wrong. Yeah. Uh, basically, so, occult scrolls make, uh, occult scrolls allow a character to, um, learn their mastery skill, and that's different for each class. Uh, I believe Mist and Kirin... And, uh, Mist and the, um, once well, she's promoted, and the Paladins get Soul, which, uh, heals, it's like Nosferatu, it heals them by the amount of damage that they did. And in this game, it, you don't get boosted damage. Yeah. Um, for people like, uh, Braum and Nephany. and Nephany, they get Luna, which I'm not too clear on what it does in this game. It either ignores their defense or cuts their, cuts the opponent, it ignore, either ignores opponent defense or cuts opponent defense in half while attacking. And resistance. Yeah. I, I thought that, because like by some descriptions it sounded like it cut their defense and resistance in half after well, it, it hit. Duh. I'm not sure. Anyway, Luna in this game, Luna and Soul. Luna is next... pretty much it's pretty much behaves like Luna in, in the GBA games. Okay. It behaves like the Luna spell in the GBA yeah. games, only it's a physical yeah. attack. Bam! Um, Pierce your but defense. But you only get you only get four occult scrolls in the game, so you want to use them carefully. I gave Ike, dude, guys. I gave Ike his occult skill because Aether is Luna. And soul combined. And when I say combined, it activates soul, which heals him. And then he hits them, and his second hit ignores their defense. So it's really, really useful. Pretty much he does a two stroke combo. First yeah. hit heals him, second hit ignores opponent's defense. And it's better than a critical hit. It's better than a critical hit. It's it's really good. And, and it's really... even better than a critical hit. Why? Because it works off his skill. There's no mastery yeah. skill evasion stat. Yeah, there's for... no. At this point, he starts off with a 19% chance to activate Aether, and it can only go up. It can go up to, I believe, 28, 27? Do you 20, somewhere between 26 and 28. It depends on what his skill cap yeah, is. Yeah, I think his skill cap is 28. I think his skill cap is 28. I could be wrong. Uh, so yeah, that's that. I think I don't think we're doing any more skill managing. So let's do info or supports first. Um, supports first. All right, we're gonna do some supporting. 
Uh, we don't want him to... No, 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 no. no. I, much as it, as it would be very cute to get Mist and Jill's A support, we're... Um, she and Boyd are going to be supporting. Rolf, again, yeah, don't want to take any things you can't support with him. And Jill! Jill, who can you support with? Believe. Ooh, you can talk to a kitty! Why don't you go talk to that kitty? You don't hate Lagoos anymore, do you, right? Nothing can go wrong here. Yeah, nothing can go wrong Nothing here. can go wrong here. Oh, they're so doomed. Um, Vas, can I help you? Uh, yeah, I have a c c question. Is that all right? It depends on what you're going to ask. Why don't half the... No, that's not right. Uh, why don't the Lagoos use weapons, yeah? We Lagoos are born ready to fight. Weapons are something that you powerless Bjork created to counter our claws. We have no use for them. Yeah, I see. Is that what you wanted to ask? Um, no. There's more. Why do you detest us humans so much? That's a good question. But I would hear your answer first. Why do you, Bjork, hate the Lagoos? It's because the half the Lagoos are our enemy. Enemy? If that's the case, we hate you too. As we hate all our enemies. We're done here. Wait! Ah, scheiße. Aww. Oh. The mist, Fraulein Mist. No, what is it, Jill? Das, das Kitty. Uh, she is mean to me. What should I talk to her about? Well, you could get her a meat pie. She'd probably like that. They're in the middle of the mountain pass. Where would I get the meat pie? Oh, here, I just made this. You go give it to her. Oh, thank you. Danke. Okay, there we go. Is there gonna anything else? Is, is, are there any, any other? Uh, sports? Um, Let's see. Oscar? No. No. Uh, no. 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 Uh, no. Nope, that's Damn. it. Damn. Okay. That's the only That's story. all kitty. That's all just kitty. <laughs> Poor Jill getting off on the wrong foot with kitty. Oh, well, let's see what info has for us. A soldier. Let's talk to a soldier. General Ike, all troops are ready to move out. All right. Uh, can you have them wait? Do you want them to fall out and wait in their tents? Or would you rather they form up and stand at attention? Go ahead and have them stand down. I'll call them when I'm ready. Yes, sir! Did he have to shout? Begging your pardon, sir. Sir, all troops have been ordered to stand down. However, General Tanith requests her orders. Are her Pegasus Knights to stand down as well? Ah, uh, am I supposed to decide that too? General Ike, with all due respect, General, you've been given command of the entire army. Sir! What? We will not move without your orders, sir. Um, breathe, for starters. Okay, General Tanith's troops are to follow General Tanith's orders. Understood, sir. General Tanith's Pegasus Knights will not be deployed unless there is a request for reinforcements. Those are the orders of General Tanith. Sir. Sir. Stop saying that. <laughs> Let's go talk to Tanith about that. <laughs> Poor Ike. Yo, Tanith. Do you have a moment? General Ike, what is it? Is there a problem? I thought you might be able to provide me with some information. Yes? What can you tell me about King Dayan? I'd like to know something of him before I have to face him in battle. Truth be told, I've never fought him either. I cannot give you any specifics, but I will tell you what little I do know. Please, whatever you can tell me would be appreciated. Ashnard's coronation, let me see. Yes, it was 18 years ago. You see, a plague had struck the capital, spreading out to infect the surrounding region of Damasa and beyond. Damasa? Ash Shut up, I bit my tongue. It's cold out here, go away. Ashnard was crowned the year after that great tragedy finally subsided. I just got distracted by looking at the grass in the background. I think that's a stock Photoshop brush. No, it might be. It looks an awful lot like the stock Photoshop grass brush, which they used on the DVD case for Avatar The Last Airbender Book 1. They also used it in some of the background paintings for That's season what I meant. one of Avatar. That's what I meant. I think they reused one of those background paintings on the DVD cover. Yeah. Anyway. Default brushes in Photoshop, guys. It's like the lens flare tool. Don't use it. Just don't use it. It's like the lens flare tool and papyrus. Just don't use it. 
<clears throat> in the entire history of Tellius, no calamity has claimed the lives of so many Bjork and Lagoos. Not since the Great Flood. Two years before, it struck Benyon, and the entire population of Serena's was nearly obliterated. Wait, I thought they were already obliterated by the massacre, or was this before the massacre? The year after that, close to a thousand Bjork nobles and peasants alike perished in Dayan. Nobles, you say? So the royal family fell victim to this plague as well. What? You think just because they're royal, they've got some sort of divine immunity? Ha! <laughs> yes. The reigning king and queen and some 20 or so princes and princes, they was some prolific reigning king and queen, yo, fell ill and everyone who fell ill perished. For a time, the people despaired of losing the entire royal bloodline of Dayan. It seemed that none would survive. And yet Ashnod survived. He did. It was quite interesting, in a sense. You see... His name was never mentioned in any talk of secession before that time. Succession, sorry. He was of such a distant bloodline that he was un that he was unlikely to be king. In another place, though, his name was already well known. And where was that? On the battlefield. As you know, Dayan is home to many brave warriors. At the time, then Prince Ashnard was said to have been a match for an entire troop of Pegasus Knights. Benyon and Dayan both keep close watch over their borders, and their patrols fought in many sh skirmishes. Although there was no war to speak of, these land disputes did end with Dayan claiming a small portion of Benyon's soil, but that was only because I wasn't there! It would be no exaggeration to say that this was solely due to the strength of one man, Ashnard. Okay. Forgive me, I have spoken longer than I intended. It's about time we get back to the business of marching preparations. No, thank you for telling me so much. If we have another chance, please share more of your stories. Tell us another one, Uncle Tanith. Understood. And don't call me uncle. Sorry. Okay, we'll call you Aunt Tanith. Auntie Tanith, tell us another one. Yo, Tormod. Ike, which troop should we fall in with? We have received no orders yet. Tormod, Marim, I know I've asked you many times, but are you sure you want to be here? You keep asking that! Maybe you don't want us here! Is that it? I don't know what to think. No, it's not that at all. To be honest, the battle ahead is going to be hard. It looks bleak. I'd rather that those without direct ties to Crimea not get involved. A bleak battle? What are you- uh, Wait. What about trying to free all the slaves in Benyon? Now those <laughs> were bleak battles! Bleak battles are our specialty, right, Merm? Yep. Yet, thanks to Ike's time in Benyon, things have changed completely. That's right. The Apostle has promised to press her investigation until there's not a single Lagu slave left in the entire nation. So there's no reason for you two to continue fighting, is there? You don't owe me anything. We're going to fight with you, Ike! We want to help! It's our right to join you in this, just as it is your right to refuse us. To be perfectly frank, I would be willing to beg to get you to join us. Both of you, all right? All right. <laughs> you can count on us! Oh, Tormod, I wish I was training you! <laughs> well, that was touching. Okay, guys, we're gonna, we're gonna mess around with some BXP and get our weapon situation. I gotta go shopping. Uh, my weapons are all breaking and crap and I'm running out of vulnerabilities and stuff so that we're gonna we're gonna do sort of some housework and uh then we'll be back with chapter 18. i've been agent elrond i've been rafi mcmutton chopper we'll see you around the internet guys bye that's my line bye i say bye 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 okay enough of that